Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure so, videos. In today's episode of My Wild Adventures. <laughs> well tonight I'm gonna to be sleeping in a synthetic sleeping bag in a bivy bag on a disused railway track bridge that's probably not been used since I don't know, at least since the sixties anyway, I think probably the forties. Now it is autumn time at the moment, um, so it's very damp in uh, England this time of year. Um, it's damp all year round to be honest in general in England, uh, but especially in autumn I think um, a synthetic bag, if you're going to spend more, more than one night in it anyway, is a really good idea for a long trail because down bags, like after one night camping in a down bag, you tend to get like condensation on it whatever tent you're in or whatever bivy you're using and um when a down bag's wet it if it gets really wet i mean it just becomes useless to be honest so um i think a good synthetic bag is the way to go which is what i've got with me at the moment for tonight um it is an autumn sleeping bag it can go a comfort rating of down to uh my um uh, one celsius I believe. Looks like people have had parties down here. I knew that. I could see footprints. Um, I don't know whether anybody's going to come down here tonight. Hopefully not. Um, yeah, I know. I, I know this place is used quite a bit. I've often seen fire fires left up here. Fire bits of fire burnt wood. So hopefully there's no one about tonight. Um, if there is any, I mean, I believe like uh, homeless people probably use this area to sleep the night. So obviously if there is anybody homeless who wants to sleep up here, obviously they come first before my filming. So I'll just, I'll just leave and let them have the place to themselves. But uh, if no one comes up here, I'm going to be staying the night. guys so I found a spot to put the um, bivy for tonight's uh, overnight stay on this um, old disused railway bridge here okay guys so I'm gonna be testing out this uh, thermal cover for my uh, gas can my gas stove which is hopefully will keep the uh, it's a c5 in here a c5 Coleman's gas can and I got this for around ten pounds this camo thermal cover and the idea is just to keep the gas warm so the gas flow remains good while it's cold this is like a the first of December so it's a cold uh, autumn's day it's a clear day so it's quite cold today uh, so we're testing that already tested this up on a hill in rainy wet autumn weather it's the British Army uh, bivy Gore-Tex bivy I got in here very good, which I'll be using tonight. And this I haven't tried yet. It is the Van Gogh Santis 800SYN synthetic sleeping bag. Um, and the temperature rating I read for this is comfort of one Celsius. So um, I'm hoping it doesn't go below one Celsius tonight. But I have got a full water bowl just in case. And I've got my stove there. I've got a silk liner to put in it because that might add some warmth to it and it helps keep the sleeping bag clean without needing to wash the sleeping bag so much. Even though it's synthetic, you, you still I still don't want to wash it too often. Um, I've also got um, the UX OEX uh, Bushcraft um, Bivy. I thought I could put that around the sleeping bag as well to add a little bit extra warmth to see if that makes any difference because I believe it is going to be a really cold night. Um, as I've got, I've got my uh, 
Onsen um, backpack here. Detour Onsen backpack, as you see in a lot of my videos. And I've got the thermal ridge rest there. And on the menu for tonight is, well, I've got them in here, burgers. I've got some snacks like beef jerky, a few of those. Um, I've got um, adventure food, some minced beef hot pot, and I've got a something to eat, chicken tikka with rice meal as well. Um, I've got some black chocolate because that's good and healthy for you. I've got two bags of coffee, well I thought I had two bags, one's empty. Um, actually I've got two bags, and I've got a bag of tea, got some um, rolls for my burgers. And I've obviously got um, somewhere I should have. Yeah, I've got a frying pan in here, and I've got my pot and cooker in here. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Oh, and I will be. That's my water bottle. I'll be using this. Well, you see this in loads of my videos. I just had to buy a new one. It, it, the old one lasted for years, but it's only just broke, so just had to buy myself a new MSR windshield. I know you can make these yourself, but yeah, I bought it, 17 quid. Uh, I'll link for everything in this in the description to buy these things, guys. Okay, guys, this is the uh, British Army bivvy. I'll be sleeping in tonight. This will go over my um, synthetic sleeping bag. And this is my uh, new synthetic sleeping bag, which I'll be trying out tonight. The uh, comfort rating of down to one Celsius. And this is the uh, silk liner that's going to go in my uh, synthetic sleeping bag there. Okay, so that's the silk liner in the uh, sleeping bag now. And this is the OAX Bivy light, Ultra Lightweight Bivy Bag, which I put around my uh, new sleeping bag to give it a bit of extra protection in the uh, British Army Bivy. And this is the synthetic sleeping bag in my OAX Bivy for extra protection. And here is everything now inside the British Army Bivy. Very well camouflaged against those leaves. Okay, guys, well, just going to do a bit of drone footage of this. Uh where I'm sleeping. Uh, I've got to set the drone up. It doesn't take too long. I'm not I'm not in a mad mad rush to do it. But um yeah so let's see if I can get this some nice footage of where I'm sleeping. I'm using the um Canon G5X Mark II by the way for filming at the moment. So this is a better look of where I'm Sleeping tonight in the bivvy. Got a time lapse on there and about to do some uh, drone footage as well. Hopefully that comes out all right. And there's the bivvy, British Army bivvy, with my new synthetic sleeping bag. Well guys, I'm very happy with the drone footage I just got, so um, I think I'm going to start uh, cooking the food now. New uh, windshield, heat shield, used before, mm. this is 
That's different. It's different to the last one I had. The last one had a like a it was like a polar mint. It had a hole through the bottom. So yeah, different. Much better wind uh, heat reflection with this one. Probably. Well, what a thought. Seems bigger. Jesus, this is way bigger. Well, I've got the right one. <laughs> this is like this is much bigger than my last one. Okay, so that is actually better. I think it's better. But uh, I'm guessing. I'm not really getting this. How this? How the fuck? Sorry, excuse my language. Maybe it goes this way. Yeah, that'd be better. I guess like that. It's different to the other one I had. I don't know if I. Seems a bit more. Oh well. I'll well, see how it goes. Definitely different to the last one I had. That's that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's much bigger. I don't know. It's weird. I'm guessing. I thought. I'm guessing this bit so I can put the pan in. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm keen on that one. It seems a bit more flimsy than the last one. Anyway, I will find out. So, put some oil on there. I am starving, guys. So this is my lighter. <laughs> no bushcraft skills there, just a modern lighter. I'll put a link for the description for it, as with everything else. There's my burgers. And uh, these were the burgers I got. And um, let's see how this lights. This is the first time using this gas with this stove. It's lit. Seems to be flying quite well with the um, thermal cover. Yeah. Well, time will see. At the moment it's okay. I am so hungry, guys. <laughs> There's my wee bed for tonight. <laughs> it's so camouflaged with these leaves, man. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> yeah. There's my uh, thermal cover on the um, gas can, the C500 Coleman's gas can there. Link in the description. That's with everything else here, guys. Not impressed with these burgers, really. They're, they're already falling apart. Not very good. Good job I've got other food with me as well. Oh, so hungry, guys. Yeah, these burgers are... These burgers are shit. It's falling apart. Right. Yeah, this is this is actually the train track. This goes over um, a river. There's another part of the bridge that used to go over the canal, but they took that part away. So I'm just on the the bit that goes over a river. Um, I don't really want to go on the main bit of the bridge because I don't know how how um, secure the bridge is because. It's obviously not been used for a good 60 years, it's not been maintained for 60 years. So, yeah, you don't know if it's going to collapse or not, do you? So, but I know people have camped up here, you can see people have been up here before. I don't know how often it's used, um, but there's some beer cans down there and um, some chairs and stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll pick up all that stuff on the way back. Um, but, um, yeah, it's a, bit of a, it's a shame really, because I've been up, the few times I've been up here, there has been pretty much a mess been left behind, so... Yeah, that's a big shame, because it's a nice little spot. So, 
tank people don't pick up their crap after themselves. Looking good. We're getting there. It's almost done. All ready. There we go. Look at that. So hungry. <laughs> mm. Good burgers, actually. Mm. So nice. Better than the usual um, dehyd dehydrated camping food you see me um, eating on my uh, long distance hikes. When I do a overnight, I just one overnighter. I can do this. I might make. I might start making some more fancy sort of food when I do overnighters. I plan on doing a lot more overnighters rather than long distance hikes. I love the long distance hiking but I love love camping over the night places like this. Just like you know. A bit of some serious history here. I mean how many trains have gone over this bridge over the years, eh? And it's just been left to rot away. Okay, folks, time to get a uh, coffee on the go. See how long that takes to boil. Actually, I quite I do like this heat shield. Um, as I said before, everything here, there'll be a link in the description where you can buy it. I forgot to put the cheese on the burgers, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, I can eat this separately, which I'm going to do now. So guys, these are the coffee bags. These are the coffee bags I'm having. This is the honey I'm using. Normally I use raw honey, not this, this cheap stuff. I prefer raw honey, un unheated so it's got all the purities in but this is just cheap stuff and uh, it'll do for now but yeah I recommend raw honey it's worth the extra money it's got it's much better for you I think anyway so my uh, water's boiled now okay sorry about that guys the battery ran out um, the water's boiled uh, it didn't take too long and um, just gonna pour me some water in. I might, I'm gonna save some of the water in here for my hot water bottle. So I might as well keep this water for the hot water bottle as well. Just gonna wait for that to cool down. Actually, keep that going. Still going? Yeah. So I'm gonna put some more water in there for the hot water bottle. Oh, shit. So I will use this water, tap water and I didn't put it in the hot water bottle because the hot water bottle is quite dirty and emptying the water from there into the pan is not very nice so I'm using a clean plastic bottle I could use this for food and drinking as well but yeah I don't really like putting water from the hot water bottle in the pot okay guys my water from my hot water bottle is ready so I'm going to turn gas off on here to save gas. My uh, thermal cover and C500 Commons gas is working brilliantly along with this um, windshield. I have to say it's not windy at the moment though. But 
it's certainly heating the water up quick. Quicker than my last heat shield and other set the other setup I had with the cheaper gas. And obviously with the cheaper gas I didn't have a uh, cover. I'm hoping that is enough water. There's not much water in there actually. Probably could have put a bit more water in, but hey ho. I think that's enough. Right. So that's going to go inside my silk liner, inside the synthetic sleeping bag. And I hope it'll make any difference. We'll soon find out. Right, I'm going to have my coffee, then get in the sleeping bag. going to take off my uh, bottoms because I'm sleeping in the silk liner. Yeah. I don't really fancy taking off my bottoms because I don't know who's going to come up here. So yeah I don't quite fancy that because obviously this place is used I don't know how, how often but I don't want a chance. I need to be alert. A place like this. I'm sure it'll be fine but it's like it's best to be alert. Ready for every sort of situation. Oh, that's nice and warm, dude. With, this, with the um, hot water bottle. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is really nice. Really, oh. Oh, God, dude. That was really good. Actually, it's probably a good combination with the Army Bivy bag, the OEX. Well, I thought I had the OEX. Yeah, the OEX Bivy bag protecting the synthetic bag and then the silk liner inside the synthetic sleeping bag. Seems to be a good combo. Well, I'm warm at the moment. I mean, the sun hasn't set yet. It will do soon. The sun will set in actually the sun will set in, actually wait there where's my glasses it's supposed to set soon so the sun will set in 50 minutes okay guys so most of this video well, just about all this video, I've been using the G5X Mark II Canon camera for recording in. Um, I'm recording in um, 4K, 25 frames per second, uh, ISO 125. I think most of the time, uh, focal length 7.1. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I've got the frame rate right at the moment saying uh, god god knows well i'm gonna have to check that out i have to pause that a second <sighs> bugger Ah, the bloody frame, the frame rate keeps changing. I don't know why that, the shutter speed, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to sort this out. Sorry, I, I don't know if it's because I took, hmm, I've got it on manual, so I don't know why it keeps changing the bloody shutter speeds. I've got the right shutter speed now, because um, I'm filming in 4K, 25 frames per second, so I want a shutter rate of, um, 50 but it seemed to be 
I don't know if I was moving a dial so it's going wrong or what. I originally started off at the right shutter rate, I think. I got ACO at uh, 125, I got the ND filter off, now it's getting darker. But um, yeah, I hope I'm not filming most of this at the wrong shutter rate. Because uh, I, I prefer filming in manual because you can, um, it's better if you film in manual for selling, if you into stock photography, if you have it in automatic, the colour and uh, the lighting can go all over the place. Um, I think the focus, yeah, it's on autofocus. Um, I'd probably rather have it on um, like infinity rather than autofocus, to be honest. But I've not really got the hang of it with this uh, this camera yet, so uh, bear with me. So I just put the honey in my drink, uh, my coffee. But yeah, I'm really just getting used to this camera. In fact, I've had it for a couple of months now, but this is the first time I've used it. The only other time I've really videoed with it really was on the last Cam Cambram Way hike I've done. I don't think I've put that on video yet, edited that yet. Um, I will do this video before that. Um, this is just like a night hike, but um, yeah, I'm hoping most of this video has come out all right. See, I've got it on the right shutter speed now, um, so that should be okay. But I really hope I've got it on the right shutter speed for most of the videoing anyway. Um, I've got the GoPro on at the moment on doing a time lapse since I got here. I've done some droning, I'm happy with that, I think. At first, the drone was wobbling, I was thinking, that's not good, what's wrong? And I, I didn't put one of the, um, ascend one of the feet, so it was like all over the place. But I think I got some fairly okay drone footage, probably some of the best I've got from this, this little uh, bridge here, because I've not, it's quite awkward to film because there's, there's trees all over the place. There's those are hazards for the drones to hit, like trees. Um, they're just all over the place really, so it's not a really easy place to to drone and plus you've got the rivers and canal where the drone can fall and just, yeah, you've lost it for good then. <sighs> okay guys, well, it's only 10 minutes to sunset. Um, sleeping bag's still very warm. Um, I'm hoping the stars are going to be out so I can get an, some night laps with my Canon G5 Mark II. Uh, so I want to save a bit of the power for that so hopefully yeah hopefully we get to see some of the stars uh, last night the stars were out of course but I just did not feel like going out and doing time lapse sadly it, the moon was out and it was really bright though so I don't know if the stars would have come out that good anyway so but yeah if the stars come out that'd be a nice bonus to uh, to uh, tonight's bivy uh, camp Okay guys, this is going to be me signing off now. This might be the end of the, uh, me talking on the video. If it is, thanks for watching. Uh, but I want to save the rest of the battery power in the G5 Mark II camera, which I'm filming on now, for some star time lapse tonight. So, um, yeah, cheers for watching. I might come back. If not, enjoy um, the, the uh, time, uh, star time lapse. Right guys, I don't know if you'll see me very well. I've got it on um, auto, my Canon G5 Mark II at the moment, because I wasn't too sure what settings to put it on. It's pitch black. Just did um, last night uh, star lapse. I don't know if it came out, went cloudy. Probably got a few seconds of star lapse. Couldn't really see on the, um, I think I've got the display turned down, so I can't really see if it's come out or not. Um, I think I had the same problem last time. Hopefully it's come out. Um, anyway, I've got to pack away and get ready to go this morning. 
uh, early so um, yeah I had a really good sleep in the um, the bag is really warm actually um, not cold at all not the slightest bit cold but I wish I'd bought some um, thing for a cushion because <laughs> I've got no cushion but I still slept I saw some fantastic um, meteorites last night anyway I really got to get going and start packing away thanks again for watching guys as with always links in the description for everything you see in this video if you haven't already please do subscribe and check out my other videos